Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this lesson, you will learn second properties of Laplace transform, which is first shift theorem. Okay, this theorem applies when you want to find Laplace of exponent multiply with function of t. Okay, for example, we want to find Laplace of exponent t multiply with cos 2t and exponent negative 2t multiply with shine 2t. Okay, however, okay, look at the table. Okay, table of Laplace transform. You can see here exponent multiply with sine and also exponent multiply with cos. We already have the answer. Okay, this, this are the answer. Okay, for both ft, you can use two methods to solve it. Okay, first by using the table. And second, by using first shift theorem. Depends on the question. Okay, look at example of question. Okay, example 1. Determine the plus transform for the given function. If you expand ft, so we want to find Laplace of sin t plus exponent 3t sin t plus and so on. Okay, look at here. We want to find Laplace of exponent 3t sin t. Okay, for this type of question, you can directly get the answer from the table. However, for example 2, by using properties of Laplace transform, okay, the question already states that you must use properties of Laplace transform. So, for this question, okay, Laplace of sin t plus exponent 3 t sin t okay for this one you must solve it using first shift theorem let's look at how to solve first shift theorem if you see table of laplace transform you can see formula 12 okay this is formula for first shift theorem when exponent multiply with ft the answer is f s minus a okay to find the laplace transform for this type of function okay first find a and also ft from the question okay a is from the exponent ft is here second from ft find fs okay use the table okay last one substitute f s minus a so here from s here substitute with s minus a look at example okay, find laplace transform using properties of laplace transform for the following function okay look at here exponent multiply with t if you see table, you can find the answer here. T multiply with exponent. This is the answer. But the question wants you to find using properties. So you must find using first shift theorem. In this lesson, I will show you how to solve question A and B only. So for question C, you can find the answer in the note. Okay, for question A, we want to find... Laplace of exponent 2t, t power of 3. Okay, the step for first shift is, okay, first find a, find ft, and then from ft, find fs. Okay, look at table. Okay, step number 3, substitute s with s minus a. So for this question, a is 2, okay, a is 2, and ft is t power of 3. Okay, and then from ft, you find fs. Okay, from table, t, Laplace of t power of n equal to n factorial divided by s n plus 1. So from here, n equal to 3. 
So, 3 factorial divide by S3 plus 1. So, use calculator, you will get 6 over S power of 4. Okay, next step is to, is to substitute S, okay, S minus A. So, F S minus A, A is 2, equal to 6 over S minus A is S minus 2, power of 4. So, this is the answer. Okay, for question B, we want to find Laplace of 4 exponent 3t cos 2t. You have 4 here, so you can factor up 4 exponent 3t cos 2t. So, first step for first shift is to find a and ft. So, a equal to 3 ft is cos cos 2t okay from ft find fs okay, look at table so if you see table laplace of cos at equal to s over s square plus a square so here a is so, fs equal to s over s square plus 2 square. So, s over s square plus 4. And the next step is to find s minus a. Okay, substitute. a is 3. s minus 3 equal to s minus 3 over S minus 3 square plus 4. Okay, you must be careful here. Okay, to find Fs here, it's depend on this Ft. So, values for A here depends on this A. Okay, not this A. So, when you substitute S here, S minus A, minus A here depends here from the exponent. For question C, you can see that we can apply two properties of Laplace transform. The first one is linear property and second one is first shift theorem. Okay, because we have exponent multiplied with Ft. Exponent multiplied with Ft. So, we want to find Laplace of negative exponent. And then factor out negative and also constant. So you have to apply for shift theorem for two function to calculate separately one and two. Okay, after you calculate, don't forget to multiply with negative and for two multiply with two. Okay, please proceed with the calculation and refer to the note. Okay, thank you guys. Good luck.